So first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. As you can see 10 mil nut there. Also another one over there. So disconnect that. As you can see, this is the clear we'll be changing it on today. Hello and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your telematics battery on this Renault Clio. This is the new Clio. As you can see, it's an RS line. This one is off. So what we're going to do is drop the steering wheel down. Like so. As you can see, next step is we're going to on, literally take this out casing off. Just pull it. Try not to break anything whilst I've taken it off. Just gonna unclip all of that. So literally you're gonna have to pull really hard to get it off. You can see that side's off already. At least you're gonna have to use two hands to literally hold on to it and pull it off. Just try not to break it whilst you're doing it. So as you can see, I've now pulled it out. Just be careful when you're pulling it out. As you can see it slots into that bit there. You can see, literally, I've got two screws around there, and it should be just slots in there. So, as you can see now, that bolts out down there, corner, and there, and there's one down there, that's out as well. And literally, as you can see, this is on a swivel up there. All you've got to do is literally just pull forward. And it will literally just come straight up. Like so, as you can see. You can see the whole thing just comes forward. Just gonna have to just unbolt it, as you can see from there. Disconnect that plug. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect the instrument panel. As you can see, it's got a clip there that you push in, right there. As you can see, just like that. And we'll just get that out of the way for now. And as you can see, the box is up here. As you can see, we've got a little tab. Right there. You can see that little tab. To push to release it, and then to pull it forward. And you can see the tab there. Put that little tab there. That's it. So, literally, as you can see, that tab you just got to push it upwards for it to slide out and you pull it forward. Try not to. Rip off any wires. I'm actually taking it out. Let's see. So there's the wires on it, we're going to disconnect them. So you can see. This has got a tab underneath. That one. Let's see, that one's off. to release it as well go ahead and remove those as you can see now we've got the box out so the battery is situated in there as you can see there's a clip there so as you can see now so you can see that little clip there we should just pull that forward you have to break it obviously and then the whole thing just pulls open like that as you can see that's the battery that we're going to be fitting in there As you can see, all the numbers are quite similar. What I'm going to do is unclip that one, that little tab there. 
Not to push that little tub in. And it should pull that out. As you can see, that one's now pulled out. And you push that little tab in. You can see there's a little tab on there. Push it in. That should slide straight out. I'm gonna have to use both hands to do this. So yeah, it's all out now. So as you can see, that's the little tab I was telling you about. Then you need to push. So you push it, so you can see that. See it moves. Pushes and it just unclips from there. There's, there's a little hook bit there. Let's make sure we don't get them mixed up. So now let's install a new one. The first thing we're going to do is we'll make sure we plug it in. First and foremost, that's all plugged in. And next step is to get this battery. So that's how the battery was facing. So that's how we're going to put it back in. Like so. Everything's all connected, like sweet as, and just shut it. And basically what we're going to do now is, I'm literally going to plug all those wires back in and then slot it back in. And now they will plug back in, so we need to slot that box back up in there, like so. As you can see the bit up there, what it needs to slot into, to make sure that lines up, literally slides on. use both hands to do this but as you can see it needs to slide all the way down onto that so, and if you can see my arm, as you can see on both slides they need to slide onto that white bit you see it he's got the hook bit literally needs to be like so as you can see and then literally just push it you can hear that click now that's back in place we need to push this back up here where it was before See that's now back on. Now I'm going to put the instrument cluster back in. So I've got the instrument cluster. Plug it in. Now the trick to this one is, I said we need to slot it back into those screws. There's one there and there's one there as you can see. So that's the first bit to do. So we've got to make sure we just slot it in there. Like so. As you can see. Push down like that. As you can see, and then just need to bolt them back onto there and to that one there as well. And a 15 mil T15 star tool. So as you can see, I'm just using a screwdriver with T15 tool to tighten it back. Just do the same to that side as well. Don't get the bolts mixed up because the ones for that bit there hasn't got a washer on it. Just make sure it's tight because we don't want nothing rattling about. anything dropping anywhere luckily that one dropped down there so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this this trim here back in now as you can see i've put the logs back in as you can see those white bits there to slot this back in and then put the screws so in. now what you do is as you can see you want to get that bottom bit in first and obviously i'm going to slide that bit down I'll show you that bit there it needs to go there's a hole down there it needs to go down there into that hole and then it will literally just line up and you just push for it to clip in place as you can see this one i can put those ones in after because it actually clips up into this panel so just gonna go ahead just make sure all of the holes are lined up and then just push it and it'll just clip back in place and now as you can see it's all slotted back in just make sure you get a screwdriver with a magnet on it as you can see so they can hold a screw Just catch 
the box, it doesn't have that. Like so. Let's get the next one. As you can see, it's all secure. Everything seems to be sitting flush around the corners on both sides. Now, this one here, just need to push that back like so. Push that one back, and then, literally, as you can see, just clip it in place like that. As you can see. That's basically it, and our steering wheel. Obviously, you've got an adjuster on it, so now I can push the steering wheel back down, lift the steering wheel up, and lock it back in place. So now we're going to reattach the battery. I normally do the live first, that way we don't get any sparks. And then the earth, obviously. As you can see, the bit of spark there, that's the earth, so I'm not too fussed about that. So that's back on now. Seems to tighten up those. 10 mils. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I'll turn the ignition on for you. As you can see, the light's still on, so we're going to have to do a configuration in the telematics unit. Just to tell the computer that obviously it's been changed and the fault has been rectified, then that light should go out. So just carried out a configuration to the telematics unit and reset and as you can see the light's now gone off the only light that's on is obviously handbrake and fuel light thanks for watching gab official please like share and subscribe for further content on my channel stay blessed keep on rolling boom